Hello and welcome to another episode of Christian Relearns Math, where today we're going to talk about an intuition around sums, specifically parts of sums being equal. So let's say that we have a line here, and let's say that there's another line that intersects it, like that. So now if we label some of these angles, let's say, let's call that one A, and we'll call that one B. One thing that we can notice about this is that we have a straight line here, and we have angles A and B, which are supplementary, which means that two of them together, they sum to 180 degrees, or half a circle. So we could write that as an equation. So we could say, a plus B equals 180. Okay, cool. Now we could also label, let's say this angle down here. Okay, notice that there's another straight line here, right? We have this one. And then this, as in C plus B, these angles are also supplementary. So we can write an equation for that as well. Okay, so we can write C plus B equals 180. If we're thinking about these equations, we see that both of them are equal to 180. If we write something like this, we say 180 is 180. Some amount of things is equal to that same amount of things. Okay, yeah. And then on the left here, maybe we can put that first equation that we wrote up here, a plus b equals 180. And then on the right, we also know that 180 is equal to c plus b. So all this is saying is that all of these things are equal to each other. So if our sum here is equal to something, and then a different sum is equal to that same thing, that means that our two different sums are equal to each other, because they're both equal to the same third thing. We can write this then as a plus b equals c plus b. And in our visualization here, all this is saying is we're representing that the sum of these angles, a plus b, is a straight line. And we can see that here as in half a circle. And then the sum of these two angles, c plus b, is also half a circle, a straight line. So all this is saying is that these two things, these two sums, are equal. What else can we say about this relationship between, between these angles? Well, one thing we might notice is that both of them include this B angle here. They both have that as part of their sums. What would happen if we ignored that B angle? And let's, let's maybe think about it visually here. So if we remove thinking about this B angle from both of these sums, what does that leave us with? Well, it leaves us with the parts of each sum minus, not including, the part that both sums shared, that both sums had in common. In this case, that's angle A and angle C. So, algebraically, we would write that as subtracting B from both sides. A plus B minus B, and then C plus B minus B. Do the same thing to both sides, and that leaves us with A equals C which is what we see here visually. And so what this intuition tells us then is that whenever we have sums that overlap in some way, and here the overlap was B, they both had this B term, as well as equal the same thing, and again, the equaling the same thing part here is both equaling 180, those sums, specifically the parts of those sums that don't overlap, so in our case it's A and C, will equal each other. So A equals C. Isn't that cool? I think that's so cool. This has come up a lot for me recently. And so I wanted to make sure I went through this intuition, because especially seeing it in the visualization like this, this is essentially the intuition for vertical angles. So I hope that was helpful. I know it's been super helpful for me. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share it with a friend, all that good stuff. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.